going on YouTube? Welcome back to Sig Pulse, and today on the channel we have Certified Sports Cards Ultimate Sealed Wax Buyback Series 1. You can see his info on the bottom here, CertifiedSportsCards.com is where I bought this from. And hit him on his socials at Certified Sports Cards or Certified Cards. Um, he has Twitter, he has his own YouTube channel. Um, I think he has Instagram also, but check out all his socials. Really nice guy, really great uh, member of the community as well. So shout out to Max at Certified Sports Cards for hooking up this buyback series. These boxes were $400 a piece. Now that may seem a little bit hefty. Um, it's a little bit more than the regular price of a hobby, but there are actually one guaranteed hobby box in here along with one to five additional cards as well. There are some buyback chase hits. The main one being the 2018 Topps Chrome Ronald Acuna Jr. Rookie Card Autograph PSA 10. And then you can see the other four. Focus in on there. The other four listed right there, so I don't have to say all of them. And then we get the hobby checklist, and I did open this already. I haven't seen it yet, and you'll see that everything is still sealed. It's just the box was too big for me to get on the screen, so I had to open it. And when I saw the checklist, I was like, let me get all the comps, so that way when we pull the box, we know if we beat the comps just with the... Um, hobby box itself or if we're going to need the cards to save us a little bit so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it let's see what else comes in this big usps priority mail package so i'm going to go with this is the hobby box this has the cards on the inside um let's go ahead and see what we got for the hobby box first hopefully it is something good now whatever hobby box is in here i'm not sure if we're going to open it or leave it sealed for now but let's go ahead and just see what it is. And oh, it's the one of the newest releases we could have got out of here. If, let me just get it out. You probably know what it is. And I said one of the newest releases on the checklist. But it is the 2021 Top Chrome Hobby. I was hoping for something a little bit cooler. But hey, that's not terrible. These boxes are going for about 180 to 200. So we're about 50% of the way back to the purchase price here. Let's hope whatever we got in the cards is going to help make this back. Let's go ahead and see it. Don't know how these are in here. Ooh. All right. So these are facing that way. There we go. I'm going to use one of these so we can't see. There are a lot of cards in here. Go ahead and get this out of the way. We do have an SGC slab. I did see it was a 10. I don't know who it is yet, though. And then there you go. Yep, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Certified Sports Cards. Check him out. Gilbert Sanchez. Bowman Chrome, Mega Mojo. George Springer, rookie card. Not bad. Gold. Out of 2014. It's fallen out of the top sleeve a little bit there. Penny sleeve, I should say. Top loader. Um, and Leonel Valera. Speckle autograph out of 299. First Bowman. Pretty cool. So not bad on the raw cards. Don't know the comps on there. Those will be inserted in the video. And let's get another one of these guys so we don't spoil who it is. Or actually, I don't know. Whatever. Let's flip it over. Oh, and there's more cards inside. All right. So, yeah, I messed this up. Whatever. Ooh, blue refractor. I saw it was a blue refractor. I did not see the name yet. Ah, not the best. I'll try not to spoil it, but we got stuck here. Oh, man. I didn't realize there was a card over the top of the front. There we go. All right. So there was a Lucan Baker first Bowman Chrome Auto as well. So that's pretty cool. And then a 2019 Bowman Chrome Draft Peyton Burdick Sky Blue Refractor. These are not numbered, but it is an SGC 10. So I will insert the comps down not down in the description. I'm going to do it in the titles on the video so you can see. Not bad. Um, I don't know if this is $200 of cards off the bat, but we got close. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and get this Topps Chrome Hobby Box open. And hopefully we made some of our money back in the Hobby Box. Because, you know, maybe we hit the Cabrian Hayes Super. I don't know if I've seen that hit yet. Um, but hopefully we just hit one of his odds. That'd be cool. I'm also a Kirillov guy. I believe strongly that he's going to end up being one of the better guys out of the class. 
But in this box, we get the two Chrome Autos. This is the regular hobby version, not the top Chrome White. So two guaranteed Autos. Probably going to be pitcher Autos, but let's see. We got Christian Pache starting off with a rookie. Starling Marte, Devi Refractor, and John Lester of the Chicago Cubs. Next pack. Bummed I didn't get that Acuna. That Acuna would have been awesome. Uh, we got Kyle Lewis, Anderson Tejeda, Zach Granke Refractor, and a nice Dylan Carlson base. It's the first good rookie of the day right there. Pack number three. Got Blake Snell, Syndergaard. What happened to him? Johnson Refractor, and Alejandro Kirk, who hits bombs against the Yankees and other teams. He's, he's turning it up. He was hurt earlier in the year. Another Refractor, Acuna. It's always a nice picture. Uh. Ben Intendi, nice Alec Bohm refractor. He's fallen off a lot too. And Luis Garcia, not bad. Got some Luke Voigt action on the back here. And Prism. That was an auto for a second. We got Bogarts, Ozzy Albies, Austin Meadows, Prism. And Luke Voigt. Alright, next pack. Gotta heat up. Gotta heat up. Let's get the let's get the magic touch going. We got Yoan Mancada. Clark Schmidt. Edgar Martinez Baseball. And Kettle Marte. Now I feel like a monster auto is about to come. I don't know why. But when I watch Certified's channel, he always has monster cards on the channel. So I just feel like it's only right to pull a monster auto out of Chrome for him. We got Joey Bart. Marco Gonzalez. Jack Flaherty. And Salvador Perez. That pack was sealed strange. Alright, still no autos yet. No, nope, just a future stars. We got Alec Bohm, Muncie, Lazardo, and Cody Bellinger. I don't know why that future stars feels really. I guess the, the future stars is on a little bit thicker of a stock there. Threw me off. All right, next pack. We got Brandon Crawford, Dean Kramer, Shun Yamaguchi Prism, and Gio Urshela. So no color, no autos yet, but it is a big box here. Still nothing. We got uh, Austin Riley, Charlie Blackman Prism, and Patrick C Corbin. Let me know if you've ripped any top chrome yourself. I'm sure if you're in the baseball, you have by now. And if you haven't, it's okay too. But let me know what some of your favorite rookies are out of this class. Got a nice Rod Carew baseball and a nice Bobby Dahlbeck. Hits home runs. Bobby Bombs. All right, next pack. Still nothing. John Carlos Stannon, Shogo, Reese Hoskins, and DJ LeMahieu. Now, there is an extensive rookie auto checklist, but... Most of the time, you're going to hit rookie autos out of this. But I have seen some Trout and Soto autos and people like that pop out of here. So you never know. We've got Glass now, Upton, Canna Refractor, and Ryan Braun. Getting towards the bottom, we are still hitless. I feel like in my other boxes, hits were at the top two. And that's a base. So that's an auto. we got our first auto coming. David Dahl, it is just going to be a base auto. Carlos Santana, Marcus Semien. Oh, B. Carlson. Nope, it's a pitcher. Wow. <laughs> Seth Elledge. This guy definitely does not have a base card. He's definitely just on the auto checklist for God knows what reason. 
<laughs> I knew I should have kept this sealed. That's okay. Hey, gotta risk it to have fun, man. You never know. Next thing you know, you sell it, and the Cabrian Hayes 101 is in here, and you cry. All right, we got Luis Patino, Francisco Lindor, nice Alec Bohm, 86, Chrome, and Devin Williams, rookie cup. He's been nasty this year also. He doesn't get a lot of love, though. Like, when you're a top-notch uh, reliever, like how Aroldis Chapman used to be, and even now he still gets love, but he's not as good. You know, you're well-known in baseball. I feel like Devin Williams just – I know it's only been two years, so he's got time, but hasn't really been there. All right, next pack. We got about six packs to go. Take my mask right there. Ooh, we got a gold wave, not an auto. We got Luis Robert, 86. Jesus Sanchez, Isaac Paredes. Oh, oh, it's a, I think this is, well, he had his rookie cards last year. So I think it's technically a second year Jordan out of 50 gold waves. That's not a bad hit. That's a pretty solid hit. It is off-centered. You can see it's way thicker on the top than it is on the bottom. But if you're going to get a vet, not the worst. Not the worst. There's obviously better, but not the worst. All right. So that's our one color hit. I have a feeling our other auto is going to be at least a refractor auto because there hasn't been much color in this box. So we got Kyle Schwerber, a nice Joe Adele. His market is going way up. Alonzo and Byron Buxton. We'll go ahead and put Adele out, actually. Not enough on the board. Why not? Yeah, I miscounted packs because this, this is the sixth to last pack now. They're so thin that they're just hiding. We got Tyler Stevenson, Chris Davis, Joey Votto, and Nate Pearson. Oh, I thought it was something different there. Yeah, Garrett Cole. There's my guy Kirillov. Beautiful pack here. Because there's a Kirillov uh, and then Cronenworth, 86 Refractor right behind him, and then Conforto. So two solid rookies in that pack there. Take that all day long. One in mind if my second auto is Kirillov. Take that. It's a base auto. Come on, two base autos. Oh, well. Uh, we got Max Scherzer, Dane Dunning, and there you go. It's a guy who's not even on this team anymore. Andres Jimenez, he has the Mets on his card here, but he is now on the Cleveland Indians, soon-to-be Guardians. So at least it's a batter. And Anthony Rendon, but not a huge market on him either. Bummer, but it's Topps Chrome, which is why, again, you should not rip Topps Chrome's hobbies. But when I get Chrome, I just want to open it so bad. All right, we got Josh Hader, Eloy, Luis Garcia, and Eduardo Escobar. The thing is, too, with these rookies is, yeah, I mean, there's some guys who have hype around them from day one and end up, you know, having the hype and some who die out. But you, you, know, you never know who turns it up where they turn their cards into five, from $5 cards to, you know, $25, $30 cards. And that adds up when you have boxes like this and some guys panning out and some not. So you never know. A guy like DJ LeMay here goes to the Yankees. His card prices have skyrocketed since then. Man, only one color. Brutal. All right, we got Tony Gonsolin, Mark Canna, Gallon, and Tim Anderson. That was a brutal hobby box because, like I've been saying, if you get two base autos, I ripped open like three of these hobby boxes, and when I got two base autos and two of them, I had three of these color parallels. And the other one, I had a Joey Bart out of 150 Blue Wave auto, and that one only had one. So it's two base autos and only one parallel out of the whole hobby box is it? A true bummer. So let me know if you think it was worth it. You know, there was definitely a shot at some big hobby boxes there as I bring it back out because, you know, you have 2021 Bowman Jumbo, uh, Topps Chrome Sapphire from 2019, uh, 2021 Topps Chrome Jumbo, all those 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire, uh, 2021 Immaculate, 2021 Topps Luminaries. All of those hobby boxes would have got us close. This one, not on the high end of the spectrum there. 
But then, I mean, we did get the cool 2019 Bowman Chrome Paint and Burdick Sky Blue, so not bad there. SGC, not PSA 10. And then, you know, these are our raw cards. The Speckle Auto is awesome. I love Speckle Autos. I think it's Speckle Auto of anyone. Yolbert Sanchez, how old is he? 97, so he's already 24 years old. George Springer Gold. I don't know how these sell, but there is 2014 of them. He's been hurt. But he's one whose market could get streaky, especially if the Blue Jays make the playoffs and he plays well in the playoffs. But that's all I got for today, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this buyback series. I love buyback series. Um, if you look at the certified sports card checklist, this was a big product. They were definitely, there was definitely a shot of hitting something cool. And, you know, you got to risk it. That was really fun. If he does another one, I will probably do this again because I really enjoyed that. But let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. And with that being said, guys, that's all I got for today. There are some huge baseball releases on the way this week. So stay tuned, like this video, subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. And I will catch you next time. I'm Sig Pulse. Later. Thank you.